out. Hey everyone. My house looks really messy. I have maids coming and um, I might have to talk on my teeth because I just eat Reese's peanut butter cups for breakfast and lunch. And then I binge and gorge myself in a really high caloric dinner meal. That's my diet plan. So if anybody wants to know how I get this rocking body, everyone in the comment section, I know. Skinny legend, body goals, fitness goals, me. Okay, <laughs> this video's gonna be quick because I gotta go. You know, I gotta go look at a Ferrari with my friend David and my boyfriend Jason because his birthday party's tonight. Even though his birthday's tomorrow, my boyfriend's 45. <sighs> so hot. I love people when they're over 45. Like 40, under 45 is young for me. So when I was dating him at 44, I was going. Like, <laughs> okay, sorry. I am like really hyper. I said I had a Reese's peanut butter cup, but I've actually had four. So there's that. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you guys. I, I yesterday, speaking of my boyfriend's birthday, I went to to the Grove to buy him presents, and I walked out with seven pairs of shoes, eight pairs of shoes for myself. And that's what I'm gonna show you because I spent like a couple thousand dollars, which is not bad because I was gonna get Gucci shoes that were like fifteen hundred for one pair. So I got seven pairs for like. Also, there might be a lot of cuts because I just drink a lot of LaCroix, so I'm a little burpy and I like to cut when I burp, so you guys don't hear it. All right, so these are the shoes I'm wearing out today, and then I'm gonna show you the shoes I'm wearing tonight. So they're kind of like shoes I needed. These are a Miu Miu. These were the most expensive. These were like $8.50, literally the most expensive. The other ones were like really, really cheap, so yeah, I know. Trish is on a budget these days. Um, these, this is the box that came in, Miu Miu. The style is called um, um, Calza Dior Donna in color. Blanco, yeah, these are great. I had a platform pair of sneakers like this a little while back from um, Nasty Gal and I was obsessed with them. They just got like really dirty and oh my God, but I wore them everywhere. So I'm hoping that these are kind of um, like the same. Miu Miu is hit or miss. Sometimes there's like, I have a lot of platform sandals and sometimes their platform sandals are like so comfortable and sometimes they're like really uncomfortable. So um, I didn't even try any of these on when I went in. So, like, the Nordstrom where I'm at. Sorry. I don't wonder where I'm on, so I don't want to flash you guys. Um, the Nordstrom. Oh, I gotta unloosen them. The Nordstrom where I'm at is in the Grove. And, um. What is this? This is the weirdest tie. Oh, I see what they did. Okay, cool. Um. Oh my god, that was so much easier. I literally just loosened it and boom. boom slid on like Cinderella. Cinderella, who that? Okay, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna actually stand up and show you guys what these look like. Um, and it's always hard to get anyone to help you in there, so I'm kind of like, hey, I'm about to get seven pairs of shoes. I want this, this, and this, so help me or not. Get commission or not, because I know people on Nordstrom work on commission, but like, I don't know what it is about people who work on commission. They never want to help me. It's like, I must look like trash. I mean, I do look like trash, but like, I don't judge a book by its cover. I also don't know how to tie these. Okay, I'm gonna try and like pan you guys down without like flashing you. I don't even know what you guys are seeing over there. Okay. Okay. Do you see? Like, this is, I know this is like a style, but how do you tie these? Or do you not tie them? Or do you tie this in its own bow? I'm so confused by this. What? I really want to wear these out, but like what? I'm going to just tie this in a bow maybe? That's not going to work. Okay, I'm gonna just tuck this in here maybe for now. I don't know if anyone knows how you're supposed to wear these. <laughs> this is why I don't buy nice things. Cause I wanna wear these out today. These were the, these were the, these were it. These were the go-to. Okay, that looks even weirder. Like I just don't know how to tie shoes. Okay, we're gonna just stuff these in like that's how they're supposed to be. Okay. Okay. I feel like this is something Cardi B would wear actually. All right. So far, they feel really soft and comfy. It's a good little, oh. <laughs> also with nails, it's always so hard to get your little fat foot into these things. Okay. Ho, 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 ho. Get in there. Get in there. Okay. So I'm gonna tighten that up. And we're gonna tuck them in here. Cause that's what we did with the last shoe. And voila. That is what that shoe cam looks like. Uh, pretty comfortable. I'm gonna walk around in these today, so I'll let you know how they go. Is this like the worst shoe cam ever? I don't know. 
Okay, boom. Oh, you're seeing, are you seeing the tripod? That's real attractive. <laughs> oh, man, why am I such a mess? I don't know. Overall, I'd say I like these. I don't know, I'm gonna wear them today, so I'll let you know how it feels. Like I said, sometimes I get blisters from Mew shoes, but I didn't even realize they were Mew when I bought them, so. Okay, these are the other ones I really wanted to show you. These are a Jeffrey Campbell. Oh my god, it says Daddy's Girl. I'm gonna try and wear these tonight. I'm bringing up a backup pair just in case these are hard to walk in. I tried them on. They actually, um, because this is one pair I did try on because they only had seven and a half. Like all the other ones, I'm like, no, I'm a seven, I'm a 37. Give me, give me those sizes. Um, these were only $124, which is crazy because when I remember, I'm gonna take this off so I don't slip. From what I remember back in the day, Jeffrey Campbell's were like real expensive. Right? Um, the Graveyard Girl made them super popular. I still have to watch that series she did with Shane. I've been saving them for when I work out. I don't know how long I have not worked out. I like to watch long videos when I'm on my elliptical. And so I was like really anticipating that one. And I'm like, no, Trisha, you can't watch it until you get on that elliptical. So, yeah. These don't have any like little buttons or anything. I'm going to actually try both of these on for you guys. Just because, I know I'm on like a time thing here, but... I want to see the walking ability of these because I do want to wear these tonight. These are so hot. These remind me of like 1995. Like I feel like it would be in that movie. What was that movie with Shane West and um, I think it was James Franco. It was like, was it Whatever It Takes? And he's like, oh, I love you, Brian Ryan. Oh my God, I love that movie. You guys, fun fact, I used to hook up with Shane West. And I don't think he was ever into me. I don't think he was even attracted to me. That's a vibe I got. All right, let's see if I can walk in these. You know what? I think these are, I think these are walkable. Yeah, I think these are like, they're walking over to the, yeah. Oh my God, if these are walkable, I think they're comfortable. They look, they're high, but they have the thick platform. I feel like Graveyard Girl back in the day, she used to do these shoe unboxings. I think these are a good. I think I'm gonna, I think these are a good. I think I'm gonna wear these tonight. Really, really cute. All right, moving on. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the rest of these because um, so I got to go and I wanna show you guys these because the problem is I shop all the time and I'm like, you know what, it's fine. I'm gonna make a haul on it and then I end up wearing the stuff and I'm like, oh, I get over. You know when you get new things and you just wanna show it off and then after you've worn them and you've had it for a while and you're like, nobody cares about this. That's kind of how I feel. So I feel like I'll be over these. Okay, so this is, these are Converse and these are that girl from Instagram, Chiara Forgani, however you say her name. Um, I saw these, someone else was trying these on and I was like, I like them. Cause I actually saw them and I was kinda like, oh, they're cute, but they're kinda basic. And then I saw someone trying them on and I was like, so freaking cute. I love these. I think they were relatively cheap. Like I said, all of these were relatively cheap compared to designer brands. And even these, I think, were pretty cheap. Uh, it doesn't say. They're called One Star Platform. It doesn't have a price. Can you go on the bottom? Or my vinyl? JK. Um, but yeah, got those at Nordstrom as well. I like was logging all these home by myself. Struggle. Sorry, I was doing a lot of emails and stuff in between this little try -um. Okay, these are Dulce Vita. Oh, I forgot about these. These were like a last minute one. These kind of look huge. Uh, I just really thought these were different. I was like sitting, waiting for the guy to get my shoes, and I saw these, and they're like little snakeskin, like kind of wedges, but more platforms. Platforms tend to be really easy for me to walk in. And when you gain weight, or like you're a thicker girl, this is like no hate because <laughs> I've gained weight and I'm a big old girl. Um, like, it's just a lot harder to walk in heels and, like, pointy things and things where you have to, your, your foot's like that. You're just balancing more weight. It's not really even good for your knees or your back when you're heavier um, and, like, on those. I mean, it's not good for anyone's back, but you know what I mean. Anyways, so if you're a bigger girl and you're like, I want to wear cute shoes, but, like, my back, stick with, like, wedges and platforms. It kind of sucks because it can be, like, a little, like, you can be seen as, like, a little country. That's why these shoes I really like that they have this platform with this because it's just giving you a more stable way to carry your weight. Um, same thing, I didn't really even show you guys these shoes. Same thing with um, this. It's like, it's it's a wedge. It's not too much of a wedge, but you still get some height. It's gonna make your leg look longer. Uh, wedges do look nice. I just wish they weren't seen as so like, in, like, I wish you could wear them like out. Like you can when you're in Hawaii and stuff, but I wish you could wear them out here in LA and people just be like, oh yeah, that's cute. As opposed to like, I asked today, I was asking, um, I have my stylist and my hair makeup guy over here, Adam and Mike, and I was like, should I wear wedges? And I'm like, mm, what is like a little country? And I was like, oh, okay. 
I mean, I would wear wedges anyways, but I'm gonna wear heels tonight. Thank God those actually work. I have another pair of black heels. Valentinos also make really sturdy heels for bigger girls or just girls in general. I really, okay, so this I did not actually pick up the same day, but I got, these are Steve Madden. I thought it was just, oh no, these, these were, just kidding. There's another Steve Madden in there, that. Um, these were actually what I was originally gonna wear. I had this white dress picked out for tonight for Jason's party. It just like didn't really fit right. It was a custom outfit made for me, and my custom outfits are always really great. Um, sometimes they just, it just, my body's just super hard to like really fit perfectly. Um, just cause my waist, it needs to be brought in to make it not look so puffy. And then my boobs have to be fit right. Like everything needs to be fit right for it to look right on my body. I'm just not one of those model-esque bodies, but I was going to wear these. These are really cute. This is more like a dressy wedge. I feel like it's more appropriate. Okay. I don't even know because that wasn't recording, but what I said, if I didn't already say it was these little rhinestones kind of dress it up a little bit. Um, so, like I said, I love them. I love me some wedges. I don't know what you just saw or what you didn't. This is all just garbage. Um, and the former pair of shoes back there, the one I got online. Sorry, this wasn't. I hope some of this was recording. Oh well. And then these were really cute. I slipped these on last minute too. These are by Jane and the Shoe, and they're really, really cute. I slipped them on because there was like a size seven. Oh my god, this leg's not as flexible. I don't know why I put it on this one. <laughs> Get in my Get in my shoe. There it is right there. Oh, you can't see. Trish. You know, this is why I don't have as many subscribers as people think I should or I should have after being on YouTube for 12 years. I'm just a lazy, lazy YouTuber. Okay, there we go. They're cute. They're my little kid shoes. Um, okay, there's another one back there, and there's a four bag. I'll show you guys. Be patient with me. Well, you don't have to be patient because I'm going to edit this. So, guys, hauling is a lot of work. It's, it's a lot of work. I understand how hard it is. <coughs> show off everything just bought at the mall. I'm not even being funny. So there's two more pairs of shoes. I lied. There's these jellies, which, I mean, if you're an old bitch like me, <laughs> these were everything back in the day. And I know they came back for a minute, but now they have rhinestones and they're Jeffrey Campbell. And they're great. These were called jellies. Literally, this is, wasn't even like a funny trend. This was like the trend, like the way, I don't know what's trendy now. The way those little like cat eye glasses and those little lace bralettes are trendy, like these were these were it. Like you were a cool kid if you had these. So I got a pair, and they're Jeffrey Campbell. Oh. Okay. Well, yeah. There's that. <laughs> um. The oh, the brand's Jeffrey Campbell. Okay. Um. And then these were the shoes that I thought were what I thought. I got these online. They're supposed to look like Kim Kardashian Yeezys. <laughs> That's. I think they were sold out, and also I really wanted a pair. Um, this is like a clear heel, and I have one similar like this that I got from Daily Look. For, who remembers Daily Look? They used to sponsor everyone, and I love Daily Look clothes. I was so excited when they'd give me a sponsorship because I loved their clothes. Anyways, I have one similar like this from Daily Look that are just really old, but these are really easy to walk into. It's got that thick heel. So I got these to be like Kim K because I'm obsessed with the Kardashians now. Who would have thought? All right, so that was my little shoe haul, but if you guys want to see some bonus Sephora because I want to use this makeup, I'm going to show you guys real quick what I got from good old Sephora. I just popped in there, got these Tarte mermaid brushes. Everyone who went to Bora Bora with Tarte got them and I was like, I didn't need some new makeup brushes, so I just did it. I've been doing my own makeup a lot more. I got some more beauty blenders. I got beauty blender cleaners and the Rihanna Fenty foundation. Right now my color is 240, they did an exact match. And then also I got this Rihanna Fenty puff, which is really cool. I saw this, hopefully this is in it, it's so light. I even asked her, I'm like, it's pretty light, are you sure it's in it? She's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw it is. I was like, okay, okay, okay. Um, so yeah, this is really cool. This is called Fairy Bomb. It just looked really pretty. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Um, it comes with this like little puff right here. Oh, wait, what? How does... What? Oh, I don't understand what this is. <laughs> Maybe I should have read the instructions before I just tossed it aside like trash. <laughs> I'm going to buy things that I don't know. What is it? Glittering pom-pom? Pack puff instant body glitz? Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ah, uh, this is cool. Ooh, I'm peeling. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be so sparkly tonight. Okay, cool. Love, okay, this was cool. And you just have a little home for it right there. And that's adorable, so yeah. That was probably way overpriced. But anyways, that was my little shoe haul. Sorry if this felt rushed at the end. I got to go, I got to get ready. I got to pack my bags. Cause I'm going to Hollywood, mom. I'm going to Hollywood, stop. 
one of those days. All right, honeys, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching, and until next time. Here are my kisses for my little baby fishies. You're welcome. I'll see you guys in my next video. And here we go. I didn't even do it. Oh, I can't because lips do much Botox. All right, bye, guys. <laughs>